All right, now I'm going to teach you how to do an arch tape job. Uh, I'm going to start out with lying down pre-wrap. Pre we're just going to cover the area pretty much of the arch that we're going to uh, tape and support. So, whoops, I'll start. I start at the top. I actually want to get over the base of the uh, metatarsals. And I'll go all the way down to pretty much just the bottom of the arch towards the calcaneus. I'm going to start by putting down two anchor strips and you have to be more careful um, when putting down anchor strips here uh, just because it's going to be a lot tighter in a relaxed position as opposed to a uh, weight bearing position. So whenever I do this I'm actually laying this down fairly light and before I close it off on the top I'm actually going to press into their foot like this to kind of simulate that standing up effect and then close off. It's not the prettiest one, but that's the idea. I'll actually do one more just to kind of make it look nicer. Okay, so spread the metatarsals, close it off, and rip. Those are my anchors. Now we're gonna get to the gist of actually let me cover this up. The gist of the ankle or the arch taping. <coughs> I'm going to do half strips, and what we're going to do is kind of do a crossing pattern. Uh, I believe it's called like a cross X pattern, and I'm actually going to start at the medial part of the metatarsal, and that's not helping. And I'm going to come around, excuse you towards me a little bit, I'm going to come around the calcaneus while he's in that somewhat dorsiflex position, and cross over at the most, in this case, the most distal part of the medial longitude, longitudinal arch. And we're just going to make this kind of like teardrop, but it's like just an X pattern, and the X is going to cross over the medial long longitudinal arch, like where it starts. And all we're going to do is we're going to keep following that X, and you want to have the X all the way down the, the arch. So I'll start a little bit more, uh, I guess a little bit wider, doing about a half strip width up around again, follow that arch, just kind of get a feel for it, and then cross over, and then rip off. I'll probably do, I'll do another couple of these so I, until I get down about here. Could just fast forward. So you see how this one crossed down a little bit lower, a little bit more to the side. And that's okay if this tape kind of wraps around the back of their heel without any pre wrap. It's not going to, most people don't have hair there, so, you, so it's not going to hurt. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and you see how we kind of got this basket weave pattern as we go down? I'll do one more just for good measure. And this kind of acts like the base that you're going to, uh, the, the support of the arch that you're going to use for this next part, which is. I believe they're called U-strips. I'm not sure why they call them these things, but it works all the same. They're going to be shorter strips, and you're going to start on the outside. I'm literally just lying that down on the outside, okay? It's similar to like how we do our, arch or our anchors. Coming across the top, or the bottom of this, and as we come across, I want to make sure that it's flush here, I'm pushing in for that, uh, acting like they're pushing down a uh, weight bearing on that arch, and I'm pulling up, and you can actually feel like I'm moving quite a, quite a bit of his arch up, and that's what I'm using to pull up and then come across. And you should, your uh, patient should be able to feel that physically feel that pulling up effect. And so I'm not closing it off on the top, like you can probably see on top here. It's just literally just like these half strips, but I'm really emphasizing like lying down on the outside, lying down in the middle, and then once you get to the medial side, you're pushing into the foot, really pulling up, and then lying down across, and then ripping it off. We'll do a couple more all the way down the arch. Same style, lying it down, lying it down, pushing in, pulling up. One more. So lying down here, I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of a push down there, and 
I'm really pulling up on that arch. Okay, so see how I covered all the bottom of the arch, just layer by layer. Now I'm going to come to the top, and I'm going to finish what we started. So I'd say how these, none of these are actually connected. I'm going to come across the top. I'm actually pulling a little bit right here just to kind of maintain that support as we come around and closing them off here. And I'm just literally going to close up each one. Not really putting any pressure on it, just kind of covering and completing the whole arch tape. So pull up a little bit and then just lay across. Okay, and that's tape for an arch.